Hello, this is Lady H. I thought today I'd do a little different video. This one is a few ponds that you can find around the wasteland that you can actually build on. The first one is up in the northern part of the Savage Divide area. You can see right here, north of the palace and right on the edge it has a very nice view of Prickett's Fort. As you can see, it is a good size, a little quaint pond. It does have an NPC nearby. And from the top of these rocks, you can see Prickett's Fort. Now, the only bad thing about this pond is that it does have bad water. So you can place the foundation submerged into the water, but you are not able to pick it up again. It is stuck. But overall, this is a very nice, a very nice pond. I don't see many people build here. All right, off to the next one. This is in the mire. This is the crushed vertebrate pond. And as you can see, the mire does have some lovely light. This one is a little bit bigger than the other pond. And that is its location. So, directly east from the Vault 79 Fisher site, you're able to find it. Now, there is one good thing about this pond, is you can put your camp module on the beach, or you can actually put it in the tree. So that way you can get your camp into the middle of the water. The camp module will also place on top of the vertebrate. as you can see here. Now, the real question is, this good water or is it bad water? Submerge the foundation. Can we pick it up? And we can. Look at that. Good water. So any foundations or items on a foundation that you submerge into the water you are able to pick up and to move around and whatnot whatever you need to do with it and that is this is the pond and the mire occasionally you will get some um, enemy spawns that come down from the hills but it doesn't happen very often Let's see where are we going next okay this one this is a this is a nice pond it is located on the western side of the cranberry bog let me put down this camp module and we can see on the map where it's located right there so directly east from Johnson's Acre and southwest from the Firebase station that's over there. And it's also a very nice sized pond. Unfortunately, there is no spot to put your camp module in the middle of the water. So you do have to build from the shore. Otherwise, 
It does have good water, so anything that you submerge into the water, you can pick up and move around. That is always a plus. It's a very nice spot. Now the next one is not far from where we are. This one, if the easiest way to find this, uh, and it's a very popular spot actually, but the easiest way to find this is go to Jack, uh, Johnson's Acre. Go a little southwest until you find the border where the fence line is. Follow that fence line all the way over and it will give you the lovely large lake it's not really a pond it's a lake um, the great thing about this lake is it, it is large enough that you could put three or four camps close by all in the same area so um, I've seen many many camps built over here where there's a little lake community it does it can be quite popular um, but since it, it is far from resources uh, like train stations and vendors and such. Um, it's a little bit isolated. The camp modules will go into the larger rocks in the middle so you can build in the middle of the water and you can place it on the further, the far shore. Way over here. Um, unfortunately the map border is pretty close over here so it might run into an issue now as far as water goes let's pan around just a little bit so you can see just how big this thing is it is pretty big Let's check the water, submerge foundation, and can we pick it up? Yes, we can. There we go. Good water. Lovely, lovely. From there, we are actually going into the ash heap. Now, there are a few um, very nice lakes and ponds in the ash heap if you are a fan of building in the ash heap. Many people are not, but we are actually going to go not there. We don't want to go there. Why am I going there? I don't know why I'm going there. Uh, okay, because we are not in the right spot. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Apparently I forgot to delete a video clip that took me to the wrong spot because I kind of forgot where this place was. second it will correct itself because I know I edited I clipped the video so that it took me to the right spot mm -hmm. actually I'm coming over here because the first time I found this place that I was doing um, bots on parade at this location over here um, on the edge of the forest and the ash heap uh, the one that's up the road from Camden Park and I was just wandering around and I was looking at the area because uh, I don't really spend a lot of time in this one little spot and I came across it it's not that one <laughs> Spot, not that spot. 
da, 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 da. and gather my bearings. I will eventually find it. This area does have some rather unique features though. Uh, you have that trailer right there you can build in actually. I've found my location but I have to clear out the enemy spawns. Today it is mole miners. Occasionally you'll get uh, ghouls, I think there's some mole rats. Um, I don't remember what else, maybe some scorch. Cleared out. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you. And more, and more, and more. Nope, that's it. Okay. And this is the Ash Heap Pier Pond. So, this is a very nice spot if you like the Ash Heap. Um, Make it up here so you can see all of it. There it is. So there's not a whole lot of water, uh, but as far as this particular region of the of the wasteland, um, it's not too bad either. It's not a bad spot. scan in the area that we can actually play with this camp box well the the only thing about this particular one is that you cannot get the shed into your build circle so if we come out to the parking lot the shed is just on the edge of the build circle and just the edge of the shed if we come back out into the pond, we can only get the very edge of the shed into it. So you can't uh, you can't actually do any building around the, the pre-existing pre building. That's about as far as you can get in there. Now, test the water. And I already know what it is because I remember. Let's get, get it submerged. Bad water. Yep. Luckily, um, if you decide to build around the pier, the water is not really deep enough to submerge much. Um, as you can see, that foundation is just not going to sink very far. So luckily, if you do get something into the water, it's, uh, it's not that much. It's only a few spots. But here is all of it. Not too bad. A nice little spot to build in. All right, now we're gonna go back up into the forest over by Anchor Farm. And this one I call the Bee Pond. <laughs> uh, there is a, another Bee Pond in the forest region. It is, um, it's, um, it's not far from the Wayward. Uh, so we're going to come over here to Anchor Farm. This is where you spawn in at. There are two ponds over here. There is one over by the side to the left of the front of the house. And it 
It's the one that has all the radiation barrels in it. I don't know if you can actually build over here. I didn't actually test to see if you could. But we're not going to go to that one. We're going to go over here and let's see what direction. We're going south. We're going to go south from the front of the house. Just go south, go south. It's a little bit of a walk, but it's not too far. Until you find the bees. Yeah. And this is the little pond that's over here. It's more like a, a swimming hole. Nice little swimming hole. It's pretty nice, actually. Um, be great for a little grotto if you are into that kind of build and you can get your build circle all the way around it which is nice and that is the location it's not too far it's not too far from um, the vault 76 too and there we have it it's a, it's a cute little pond Now to test the water, there is a slight issue with the water, as you will see in a second. Let's get my foundation down in there, or at least try to. Because as you can see, trying to put your foundation down, there is some debris in the water. Um, so it might be tricky if you want to try to get your foundations down in here. But after you'll see in just a second what's down here. Once I can get my head down. And the water. There we go. Okay, so there's just some inner tubes and there's a safe that's locked. I think that's it. That looks like that's all there is. So. But you can... We are going to to get this foundation down right there and bad water so even if you did put one down here um, you're not gonna be able to get it back out so that's a nice little spot if you don't mind the bees All right, before we go to the next one, I did want to mention I was trying to find um, another pond that was in this area, not this one. This one's pretty popular. I'm sure you've seen lots of people, um, lots of folks build over here. But I spent a good portion of an hour wandering around the forest area looking for this other little pond. It was about the size of the the bee pond that we just saw. I could not find it. I could not remember where it was. I kind of knew the location that it was in, but I just couldn't find it. Now we're going to go over to the toxic lake area to this little pond. This is the radiation pond. As you can see there, it's just a little north of the butterfly. Now, if you do have some issues with radiation, can't tolerate it, this is not the place for you. Um, I have pretty good radiation resistance and I'm still getting about two rats. It's a nice little place. Especially if you like doing um, radiation themed builds. This is a view from the other side. And the thing about these places is the glow is just outstanding. You don't really have to use a lot of lights. As far as the water goes, it's bad water. Yeah, of course it is. It's got radiation in it. <laughs> But it's a nice little place if you like to build over here. And it is close to, oh, we 
we've got some possum spawns. It is actually close to my favorite tree in the entire game. I love this tree, I don't know why. It's, it just glows. It's, it's a dead tree on a little hill in the middle of the toxic lake area. But I just love this tree. And it has a nice little um, junk pile next to it. So, yep, there we go. So those are some ponds. They're pretty isolated from a lot of building areas that um, many people build in, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.